I am Captain Mike Glover. I am a fishing guide on Lake Murray. I've been for the last 31 years. If you come out here and fish on Lake Murray just one time, just one time, you'll be hooked. The fishing is just that good. This is a beautiful lake. It's one of the nicest lakes in South Carolina. This lake has every type of fish you could possibly want to try to catch, from largemouth bass to striped bass. Striped bass, they're big. They're plentiful out here. If you want to have an opportunity to catch a fish that could range anywhere from four to 30 pounds, this is the lake to catch them. In the summertime, they're gonna go deep. We'll fish about three cranks off the bottom. When I say three cranks, that'll move it up to about maybe 80 foot. At any one point in time, we'll have six to eight rods dangling over the side. If the fish were at 60 foot and you put the lines down 55 foot, game's on, brother. They're gonna get that. When that fish hit it, this rod's gonna disappear. They will fight you from 80 foot down until you throw them in the floor of the boat. Then they'll try to bite you. They don't give up. See him right there? Yeah. We're gonna need the net with him. Well, there you go, that's your typical Lake Murray striper. These fish are nocturnal. They pretty much feed all night up through the better part of the morning. So you really need to get up really early in the morning. We'll shove off about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, most days. The sunrises are incredible. That sun is as bright orange as you're ever gonna see first thing on Lake Murray. For me, taking people out, that gets me revved up. Five minutes after a person gets on the boat, I can tell a lot about just how stressed out they might be. 15 minutes into this, we need to be catching fish. I need to take them away from stress to enjoyment. Their definition of multitasking when they get on my boat needs to be all about catching two or three fish at a time. If they're worrying about taking cell phone calls or texting or emails, they won't have time. Once I set up over a group of fish, it's game time. There's four seasons of fishing, and each pattern during the year is different. If you don't understand the lake, don't understand the type of technique you're gonna to have to use, and don't have a good understanding of striped bass and where they're likely to be certain times of the year, you're just out for a boat ride. So I'd recommend a guide more than anything else just to get you acclimated to the water and to make sure you have a good time. If you want to have a change of pace and you don't want to fish this big body of water, there's some smaller lakes within driving distance of Lake Murray that you can go and catch striped bass in or largemouth, any kind of panfish. There's not a bad lake in South Carolina when you get right down to it, guys. If you can free up a half a day of your time to come to South Carolina and put some live bait on the other end of your fishing rod, you're just about guaranteed of having a good time. It's just that simple. I love to see people catch their first big striper. The look on their face, priceless. Did I say life is good? If I didn't, let me say it. It's really good. <laughs>